Cobra, the king of snakes. With the ability to kill its prey in the blink of an eye with its venom, most humans, including me, are afraid of the cobra. No animals dare to take on the cobra. Except for this guy, the mongoose. Now, why the hell would a tiny mongoose dare to take on the king of snakes? Let's find out on Wildpedia. Mongooses and cobras actually have a history of fighting each other. And you could consider the mongoose a natural enemy of this snake. But if you see them fighting like this in the middle of the street, promise me you'll just watch as a spectator. Don't even think about intervening to separate these creatures. Because the last thing you want is getting caught in the crossfires between a mongoose and a cobra. In the animal kingdom, it really is about survival of the fittest. Let's take a closer look, shall we? The mongoose is a small carnivorous mammal. There are currently 34 living species of mongoose that are native to southern Europe, Asia, and Africa, where you'll find the most of them. Each of them looks a little different, but they share some overall characteristics. Mongooses have long bodies, nice bushy tails, and short ears. The mongoose usually has an average length of 23 inches and weighs from 6 to 8 pounds. They are also agile and as fearless as they come. Mongooses are non-discriminatory predators, which means they will pretty much eat any animal as long as they can kill it. Huh, they sound about as picky as me when I'm at any restaurant that happens to be open past 3 a.m. Anyway. Mongooses are usually considered to be ground dwellers, but the slender mongooses, native to East Africa, do like relaxing high up in trees, and this allows them to prey on little birds in their nests. Depending on the species, these guys can either live in colonies or strike out on their own, kind of like lone wolves. But at the end of the day, what is most noteworthy about the mongoose is that it will often pick fights with the cobra, one of the fiercest reptiles in the world. On the other side of the fighting ring, the cobra, a snake commonly found in Africa, Indonesia, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. There are anywhere between 28 and 270 species of them, depending on how you define a cobra. Cobras either have a hood or have the ability to lift the upper part of their bodies off the ground. That is not something other snakes can do, by the way. Most cobras have black, red, and yellow scales, and they have amazing sensory abilities. They're able to track their prey by picking up scent particles in the air with their tongues. But the scariest thing about them is the ability to inject venom into their victims with their fangs. Oh yeah, and they can grow up to 10 feet long, with the largest cobra ever recorded being 18 feet long. So why would a 23-inch mongoose ever mess with that? Mongooses feel comfortable fighting snakes because these cute, furry little guys have a trick up their sleeve. They are immune to snake venom. Yes, you heard that right. This is really a power that snake catchers must dream of. Not only that, the mongoose has a thick, puffy coat of fur, so any short-fanged snake won't be able to stab the mongoose very well. Mongooses are also very fast on their feet. They rush and dodge while attacking their cobra opponents, luring the snake to lunge back at the mongoose over and over until they tire themselves out. Then, when the cobra's guard is down, the tiny mongoose will rush in for the kill and it bites the snake's head off. Gruesome. But hey, survival of the fittest. Although mongooses do like to play jokes on some creatures, they definitely do not play games with snakes. What the hell? 
Now, why are these two fighting in the first place? Well, they're competing because they both like to hunt the same prey. It's just like the age-old rivalry of the lion and the hyena. But it's also because snakes have the terrible habit of disrupting ecosystems wherever they go. They have a highly potent venom which is enough to cause the extinction of other species in certain areas. The best example of this is what happened once in the Florida Everglades. One time, a whole bunch of Burmese pythons escaped from their enclosure and set up a breeding population in the Everglades National Park in Florida. And in just a short amount of time, they managed to destroy the local mammal population and threaten the local biodiversity. Cobras have no natural predators either, so a cobra infestation can turn into a really big problem. However, nature does like for every animal to have a rival, which is why mongooses have their magical, natural anti-venom immunization. So, when mongooses fight these snakes in the wild, they're helping to keep the ecosystem balanced. In the 20th century, sugarcane plantation owners in the Caribbean used the gray Indian mongoose and the little Indian mongoose to get rid of rats. And they did a great job. Maybe a little too good of a job, because the mongooses then became a major threat to biodiversity in those areas, destroying and eating all the ground nesting birds and all the other small native animals they could find. Basically, cobras in particular, and snakes in general, will avoid fighting with mongooses. But they will try to put up a fight if they're cornered and can't escape. A constrictor snake will wrap itself around the mongoose and crush it to death or induce a heart attack. But the mongoose, more often than not, overpowers the snake after fighting for a few minutes. A mongoose can easily dodge cobra strikes by leaping around, and when it grabs a hold of the cobra's head, it can bite deeply into its skull. In most cases, a mongoose won't even eat a cobra after killing it. But of course, there will still be times when mongooses eat their defeated victims. And when this happens, odds are that it's game over for the mongoose as well. This is because when the mongoose eats the body of a cobra, its venomous fangs can get stuck in the mongoose's stomach, and its stomach is not as resistant to venom as its outer skin is. This is why several mongooses have been found dead after eating a poisonous snake with the snake's fangs puncturing their stomach. Now, the fights between mongooses and cobras are about survival or defense just as much as they can be about territory. Case in point, baby mongooses are not immune from snake venom just yet, and snakes sometimes might try to make a meal out of these little ones. In that case, the daddy or mommy mongoose will step in to teach the snake a lesson. So, if you're looking for a new pet, how about a mongoose? Not only are they adorable, but they should also do a great job protecting you from all types of threats. But don't ask me where you can find a mongoose. All I'm gonna say is this. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And if you do find out where you can get a pet mongoose, let everyone else know in the comments. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.